This video is for Jared Cross because I think it's a blue card. My friend swore up and down it was a gray card. James, I was initially upset when I got asked this question, but the framing of the question actually helped me make a great discovery. So the car in question is a 2007 Dodge Charger Steel Blue Metallic. Scrapping the metallic finish, you get a REL of 5022 and the hex code 252F59, which is night blue. But I wasn't satisfied just yet. The main problem is unlike my Ludwig hoodie video or my Chartreuse Kona video, I'm not comparing two primary or secondary colors. Running into this problem made me think, what if we don't use a spectrum? See, with being able to use two endpoints now out the window, I needed to find a way to be able to find out a point to where gray is no longer gray. The best option here was to use a relative percentage difference. With this, I just calculated the average intensity of the RGB values and divided it by three. But I needed a range that most people in their mind would consider gray. Looking at things like the JND, the Macadam ellipsis, and eyeballing the hex codes myself, I found that if all values fall within 10%, it's likely gray. But if just one of the values falls outside of 10%, it's not gray. So yeah, James, I hope that answered your question, but I think I wanna thank you because I would have never thought about the problem otherwise.